Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Okay. Stop. Before we get into this video, I want you to think about the most important thing you've ever done. Doesn't matter what it was, but it has to be important to you. Maybe learning to drive or speaking a new language, anything. Maybe starting your own YouTube channel to teach people all about the science of psychology. Wink. So the hardest thing you've ever done now, why did you do it? When you think about why you're doing something, what you're really doing is exploring the concept of motivation. Psychologically defined, motivation is the reason why we do the things that we do. Motivation guides goal-oriented behavior. Psychologists tend to split motivation for doing things into two big categories, intrinsic motivation and extrinsic motivation. Let's talk about extrinsic first because it's a little easier to understand. When you're extrinsically motivated, that means your motivation to do that activity is coming from a source that's external to you. Extrinsic, external. Your motivation could be to get some kind of a reward, like money or praise, or it could be to avoid a punishment, like getting yelled at. We see extrinsic motivation every day all around us. Go to a job where they pay you money? That's extrinsic motivation. You wouldn't go to that job if they stopped paying you money. Most of modern society is built on this sort of external motivation. When you're intrinsically motivated, that means your motivation to do that activity comes from inside you, intrinsic inside. There are some tasks that you just find personally rewarding, like maybe you have a hobby or a collection, Anything that you do just because you love doing it. You don't care what anyone else thinks about it. You want to continue doing that thing just because you find it rewarding. But this is where it gets tricky. Oftentimes, people can do the exact same thing, but for different reasons. That means behavioral tasks that are identical on the surface might have different motivational sources depending on who is doing them. For instance, take something that could be a great hobby or a career, like baking. You have two people who are both great bakers. One bakes because they like the praise that they get from their friends and their coworkers. The other bakes because it reminds them of their grandmother and they just like reliving those memories. Both of these bakers are gonna wind up with really great things to eat when they're done, but their motivational source was very different. If you want to learn more really different things about psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! Hey, tell me down in the comments below, what's the hardest thing you've ever done? Extra points if you tell me what kind of motivation led you to do it. Wink. Did I do it?